What's up, Vikings? This is Wampin here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Photoshop tutorial in how to make a frame for your face cam on stream overlays and such. So yeah, let's get to it. It's quite easy to do. All you need to do is uh, make a new project, make it 1280 times uh, 720 pixels, 300 resolution, and transparent. This resolution is if you have a widescreen camera, which most cams nowadays have. And you start out by uh, equipping the rectangular marquee tool. Go to the top left corner and count down one, two, and on the third one, you start marking. You go down to the bottom right and do the same one, two. This is really hard to see though, so make sure you do it right. Three, crap. Well, actually, not too shabby. All right, once you have this selection made, you will not press there's going to be a lot of shortcuts for this tutorial but i'm going to put them on the screen so hopefully you will just pause and see what you need to do if you can't keep up so start up with uh, pressing ctrl shift i to invert the selection ctrl delete to make uh, to colorize the inside there and deselect now we want to make the frame a bit smaller so ctrl d Hold shift and drag one of the corners down, just like that. We want to do this so we have a bit of an outside area to work with. All right, so we don't have a frame here, but we can do better. So with that, go into FX, uh, Outer Glow, put it on normal, black, boom. It's, it's already looking better. But we can do better than that. Uh, after you've done this, go to Gradient Overlay. Make it look nice in a way you want it. So I'm going to go with a simple black, I uh, mean white and gray kind of thing. Pretty much something like that. There we go. And maybe add some inner glow as well to get a bit round uh, roundness going actually keep that on screen it looks better I think play around with settings a bit but yeah so right here we already have a f nice frame I mean it's not too shabby for a few minutes of work but we can do it better so duplicate this layer by either doing control J or right click your layer layer and Duplicate layer. There we go. Press OK. There we go. Now we have two of these layers. And what we're going to do now is Control T once again. Uh, hold Shift and drag one of the corners down. Just a bit. So we get a style like this. Now you can see at the bottom here it's not quite the right size. So you just drag it in a bit like that. It looks nice. Got a bit of a frame outside frame. However, I want this frame on the back side. It looks way better. So hold, click and drag. Boom. See, now it's on the back side. It looks way better. So there you have it. A nice looking frame. But I'm going to show you one more thing you can do, actually. Uh, press, use this tool. Uh, it's poly... Yeah, all right. Polygonal lasso tool. Yeah, I said that. And we're going to make a few selections, but before we do that, make, make sure on the top here that you have this option enabled. Otherwise, if you make a selection like that and make a new selection, it disappears. Like you see here. But if you have this, you can make more. So basically, you can just, yeah, I'm going to make some triangles because why not? It's not important on how it looks, kind of, so go wild, as long as, as long as it looks, well, play around with it, see what you feel like you want to add, as long as you make a nice selection, and how it looks around the borders doesn't really matter, because we're going to make it all disappear outside over there. Oh yeah, I forgot, we need to make a new layer to add these things onto. And actually, I haven't done this with buttons in so long, so we have to use another shortcut. 
and that is Control Shift N. Press OK. Drag this layer to the bottom. Once more, hit Control J, and right click to select. Now you see we have a few triangle things going here. Some better than others, but anyway. But this looks boring, boring as hell. So right click, copy layer style, right click, paste layer style. There we go. So now we have kind of a triangle thing going on right there. This just looks path pathetic, but oh well. Not too shabby for five, six minutes of work. But yeah, this is my face cam. And uh, if you like it, type comment down below, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. If you, have, if you want me to do any other kinds of tutorials regarding Photoshop, tell me down below or in a PM or anything else like that. And I will make sure to do them. And yeah, I think that's it. And as always, what kings out.